Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right guys, let's begin. Now for reproductive and maternity. First up, we have contraception, which we have estrogen and progesterone, our typical oral birth controls that everyone takes to prevent pregnancy. Now, the major adverse effect is increased risk for blood clots. So the memory trick we use is the double E's. So think estrogen and progesterone. We think E for emboli, since there's a big risk for embolic events. And that's why it's not given to patients who are at high risk for clots or history of clots, like someone with an MI or heart attack, clot in the heart, or a DVT, a clot in the leg, even PE, clot in the lung, or even CVA stroke, clot in the brain. And we avoid giving to those with a high risk for clots, like those who smoke or have hypertension. So the HESI mentions estrogen and smoking means an increased risk for blood clots. So if you smoke and take birth control, watch out for blood clot city. Now, estrogen is contraindicated for a patient with thrombophlebitis. That was the second question mentioned by HESI. So Thrombi in thrombophlebitis is that blood clot causing that vein inflammation and irritation. And Kaplan mentioned a priority finding is a client taking estrogen with reported left leg pain behind the knee. This is reported as possible DVT. Now for the key points here. Big thing is patient teaching. So we teach our patients do not smoke, as mentioned by the HESI. And we report severe leg pain, swelling, as well as vision loss. This could indicate a DVT or even a CVA, that stroke. And ATI mentioned something very interesting. We do not take with carbamazepine, which is an anticonvulsant, which makes oral contraceptives ineffective. Now, another question bank mentioned that medroxyprogesterone acetate, we instruct clients that ovulation may not occur for a few months while using this medication since it interacts with ovulation and can disrupt regular cycles. Now, a common side effect that's not really mentioned on question banks is we don't need to report any type of breast tenderness or spotting between cycles or menses. This usually improves within three months when first starting the medication. Now, the second drug for... Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.